Son Gohan, this character always has various attention from DB fans. Sometimes he looks so strong and sometimes just looks so weak, never consistent. Even in Dragon Ball Daima, he has not appeared yet. Where are you, Gohan? As one biggest fans of the Dragon Ball movie series, Barbie sees some inconsistent developments about Son Gohan in Dragon Ball Super. Yeah, I know he got a beast form. What's the big deal? Now we want to look at all the journey from Gohan along DBS, guys, and you will see many loopholes. That's what we'll review now. Just stay in DB Info. The best gift you can give me is to keep on studying hard, Gohan. Then I'll have a scholar as arm candy. Alright, first, God of Destruction Saga. Like Dragon Ball Daima, this event happens after brutal fights from Majin Buu Saga. We know Gohan is already ultimate being. He got a form that shook the world, was very cool and didn't need blonde hair like others. Unfortunately, Gohan is not determined to become the world's ultimate fighter. Just too comfortable with his earthly life. After the Majin Buu Saga, Gohan never trains his skill and body. He just grabbed some books doing some study along fiddle, then preparing for some bad pillow fights with the girl. <laughs> Damn you, Gohan! So after Beerus arrives on planet Earth, the ultimate being failed, becoming an ultimate savior. He lost so quickly and easily. At that time, the defense just stood sad about their favorite hero. Starting out, Goku will take over his right as the MC, guys. Then after the God of Destruction Saga, Crisis for Gohan turned back to worse. In fashion time, Frieza come back to life and is too ready for vengeance. Can Gohan solve this problem? Again and again, Gohan made us disappointed. So these were the most helpless conditions for Ultimate Fighter. Let alone power, his appearances look so weak, boringly weak. Damn, what's special about his screen training suit? Frieza army also still doesn't have a truly strong one. The Tagoma is just a wannabe but not the real deal. Even his body was stolen by Captain Ginyu in his proggy form. But can you beat him, Gohan? Bad, very bad news, Son Gohan still such a pony. Captain Ginyu with Tagoma's body seems too strong for him. Son Gohan can use Super Saiyan form for a little longer. So don't dream about his SSJ too. Finally, the torturing events are just taken over by Frieza himself. He made Gohan a vengeance doll to release his past groups against Saiyans. Right, Gohan just cry, cry a lot. Scream until your lungs explode. His condition is nowhere near survive. If Goku and Vegeta don't arrive, the ultimate fighter is just after Piccolo. <laughs> then where we repeat again our voice of disappointment about Recep Saga's Gohan. First, his look and his suit, damn, too sporty nerve. Second, he can be a super saiyan for a long duration, forget about the next levels. For the third, what you would say about this? Two sagas in a row for Gohan to be the pitiful one. Thank God after that, he wants to train his rusty body again with help from Master Piccolo. Unfortunately, when we hope Gohan to be a great fighter soon, Akira Toriyama or Toy Animation seems not listening yet. The Tournament of Destroyer Universe 7 against Universe 6 wears him. Gohan said he must be absent due to his activity as a young scientist. We must bear our patience for Gohan's actions, guys. This saga isn't the time for it. Then we got a story about the future again. The world from Trunks timeline getting upside down due to some attacks by Goku Black. 
This kid finally goes back to the past and saves himself while meeting up the friends or family. Before DBS, Peter Trunks only met Tin Gohan, but the brat has already succeeded in impressing everyone thanks to his Super Saiyan Zeus form. So in Peter Trunks' mind, naturally Tin Gohan will grow into a strong and cool character that he knew before in his timeline. While his action against Cell is just very badass, there's no way in the other future Gohan wouldn't be strong enough. Feel sorry for you, Visitor Trunks, it seems your expectation just was away. After more and more events that happen in this prime timeline, Son Gohan still doesn't look strong enough as a fighter. Yeah, meets the sweet daddy. Trunks! Trunks! Of course, Trunks can't forget about the cool and badass Visitor Gohan who saved him when the androids attack. But now in front of him, there's another Gohan. This person seems to come from some family TV show, not a fighting story. Why did he not become like this? Why? <laughs> Development from a person depends on their life's environment. The baddest future Gohan clearly wouldn't become a scholar. There's no school or university to study at. Days after day, he's just busy doing some training so when enemies arrive, he's ready to slay. Even though the android's power level is too high, and even with all of his talent, still didn't make it, unfortunately. Gohan in this future doesn't have any backing, guys. There's no Piccolo, even no Goku to make the situation just turn right. Meanwhile, Gohan in the prime timeline doesn't lose anyone from his friends and family. In fact, the androids had become good people, damn. The situation was very different. Please accept him, Peter Trunks. There's still Goku or Vegeta in this world, so Gohan doesn't need to push himself and go freak like others. Then for TV fans, don't worry. This was also the last time Gohan would nerf by the author. After that some nerdy moments, come the times when Son Gohan is great again. Especially in the manga, Tournament of Power, and the Ultimate Fighter is back. After Universe Survival Saga, Gohan also gives his hardest fight against 73. Then let's not forget about the Beast. This is a damn good redemption from Akira Toriyama to please DV fans about his godly nerf before. In fact, Gohan still looks cool in the manga, new superhero saga. Don't forget to sub or follow, like, and nerf the bell. Ultimate question, is Gohan going to hide forever in Dragon Ball Daima? See ya!